Hey Dan, do you remember Syndicate Plus? It's a real-time action strategy game, originally called just Syndicate, in a cyberpunk setting. It was developed by Bullfrog Productions and published by EA in 1993. It was later bundled with the expansion pack Syndicate American Revolt and re-released as Syndicate Plus in 1996, which is how we got it. In the game, you play as the leader of a corporate syndicate, controlling your cyborg agents in teams of one to four, sending them on missions to take control of territory controlled by your rivals. Each territory has a separate objective that usually involves eliminating a specific target, sweeping for enemy agents, or using mind control technology to persuade someone to join your syndicate. Of course, once they're in the Syndicate, everybody gets a share. Once you control a territory, it will provide you with taxes, which you can use to purchase weapons, augment your agents with cybernetics, or research new technologies. The end goal is to unite the entire world under your control, a single criminal corporate empire across the Earth. And in this opening cinematic, you see how agents are selected from the civilian population, captured, cybernetically enhanced, and mind-controlled with the Persuadatron technology, which you do have access to in the game. Agents are then released back out into the world until activated when their missions begin. This means that even though you will be playing with a team of agents, you can always replace your agents if they should die in the field. And when the game starts up, we'll just go right here to uh, F1, Configure Company. And you get to set your color and logo. Let's pick something... Uh, not too garish, not too striking. How about a nice, yeah, a light blue. And you can look at the selection of logos. How about that? Now you can select your company name. Now this is actually how you enter cheat codes. Uh, we'll go over those another time, but if you type in a specific name, it will uh, give you bonuses. Oop, too many R's. There we go. And, well, let's just call this real time. Actually, it makes more sense. Move that around. Now I just want to give you a brief look at the game. So once you've accepted that, you can go to Begin Mission. Again, you can use the F keys or just use the mouse. And when you first start, your only option is here in Western Europe. So we hit Brief or we can go back to the menu. But hitting brief, it will tell us, in short, what our objective is. Mercenary camp. Assassination. Intelligence reports have indicated that an army colonel is stealing resources from your weapons division and using them to equip his mercenaries. His base has been set up just outside one of our cities, and the populace have reported disturbances caused by his troops. Continue on. Your squad will be deployed near the entrance to the camp. Their objective is to eliminate the colonel. So once again, this is a straightforward assassination. Now we can purchase more information or enhance the map uh, by paying credits for it. And a quick look at the map will take us back to here. As you can see, you can click on any of the other countries, but none of them are available for briefings, except for Western Europe. You add more options as you continue in the game. So, instead of going back to the map, we'll hit Accept. And this will take us to our loadout screen. Now, 
we start with these four agents, Bush, Hicks, Dawson, and Jones. And you can right click to deselect them. We only need one agent for this. And she really only needs the pistol. So, and uh, that's pretty much it. You can see other equipment that you could purchase for her and modifications if you wanted to go the cyborg route. But for now, we're going to keep things simple and just hit accept. And it will load us into the mission. So we start with our agent here. Very simply, clicking on the map will move her forwards. You can see it has this isometric viewpoint. Clicking on the pistol will equip it. Clicking it again will deselect it or unequip it. And that's very important when you're trying to sneak in places without drawing too much suspicion. Though it seems we may already be encountering some resistance. Yep, so let's get our pistol out and then you can see the uh, once the mouse hovers over an enemy, or really anyone, it will turn into a crosshair. And we can pick up their guns there. And uh, left clicking will just move you towards the target whereas right-clicking will fire. And you can see in the bottom left here is our uh, scanner, our map. And you can get a more detailed map by bringing a scanner uh, in your equipment. But we can see this little ping coming from our target, who is inside this building here. We'll fire a few times before he has a chance to escape. And there we go. Now, sometimes you need to leave an area to successfully complete the mission, but with this one, all we had to do was uh, kill that uh, colonel, I think it was, and now we can press space to end the mission. And there you have it. We now control Western Europe. And after this uh, brief animation, which plays every time you have a successful mission, it will tell you the exact same thing, but it will take us to the mission debriefing, telling us how long we were there, as well as a few other statistics. So we only used one agent. We didn't gain any new agents. We were there for uh, six hours and one day. Uh, no enemy agents killed, no criminals killed, one civilian killed, two guards killed. So I suppose it was two guards who were shooting at us and the colonel counts as a civilian, strangely enough. And of course, we didn't have the Persuadatron, so no one was persuaded. And just hit accept, and it takes us back to the map. And now you can see that Scandinavia is available. Central Europe is not yet, but as you can see, as you take over more territories, they uh, change color to represent your faction or your syndicate, and more options become available to you. All right, Dan, well, that's everything I wanted to cover today. Next time, we'll go over some of the equipment in more detail and get a little bit deeper into the controls. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.